Good morning and happy Thanksgiving, guys. Well, we're here in Alabama Gulf Shores. Well, my family and I, we're staying on Orange Beach right now. But of course, you know, when we're here, we have to link up with my brother, Scott Kennedy. So if you've been watching this channel for a little bit or following our Yak Tribe or Pangani Tribe Adventures, we when we first hit the road in like 2017-ish, the first stop we made in the RV with our family was Gulf Shores, Alabama. And so we hit this area, we got to hang out with Scott. And that's when I met Scott for the first time. And we've been friends for, I mean, well, since then. And so I was in his wedding, my buddy Adam was in his wedding and we just developed an awesome friendship. And so I'm taking full advantage of Yak Tribe right now. So something I would always preach on our podcast and just through the channel and social media outlets is like, hey, Yak Tribe, we help each other when we're out of state um, or out of town. And, you know, we're, we're a community where if you don't have a fishing pole, we got you. If you don't have a kayak, and we got one, we got you. And so uh, today I get to take advantage of that. I took the family van, this is my wife's van, and I don't have a kayak, as you can see. And so what's so awesome is Scott is gonna be bringing an extra kayak for me. I just got basically this little um, NRS, little tackle box deal right here. And that's pretty much it, my life jacket. And we're gonna go fishing. So today we're gonna go sheep's head fishing. It's going to be a great day. But before we do that, I just want to say I am so thankful. Today is Thanksgiving. If you haven't done so already, a great practice on Thanksgiving is just to obviously go over what you're thankful for. And I try and keep a running list. I try to keep a grateful slash thankful list um, every day. And, you know, that way it's not just Thanksgiving. But there's a lot of things I'm grateful for today. And a few of those things are, of course, God, my relationship with him, my family. I'm just so grateful for an awesome wife and just the Lord's blessed me with amazing kids. Of course, my job and what I get to do in ministry, um, you guys and being able to create. And I'm just so blessed for my work. I've never gone um, in need. I've never gone without the necessities of life. And so I'm grateful for that. I'm so grateful. And of course, there's so many things we can be grateful for. But today, I'm especially grateful to go fishing. I'm ready to go fishing. And sheep's head fishing at that. This is the full extent of what I brought. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to use this. Um, I don't know if he has the mount. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe be able to use that. Of course, the life jacket, the action hat, rain jacket, some GoPro batteries. Of course, my safety kit I always bring. And fish grips in there. There's a VHF right there. Don't need that. Not really necessary for what we're doing, but it's in this anyway. Pliers, basic sheep's head kit that I use in Florida. So that's what we're doing today. So I threw that in here last minute. Of course, baby wipes, sunglasses, a beanie, even though it's not cold today. And okay. Got my Leatherman and got my um, extra extra leader right there. So that's pretty much it. Except for, yeah, it's not gonna be too cold today. I'm not gonna need waders or anything like that. And tomorrow we're gonna go duck hunting. So got the shotgun, got some, hmm, got some shells. Yep, got that. Oh, I need to grab a water. Grab a water. And that's everything we need today. I also brought this. I've been using this a lot more. I'm getting old. About to be 31, y'all. Butt hurt seat. I've had this one for like four years, maybe five years. Still in like perfect condition. Of course, maybe because I'm using it now more than I ever have before. But um, yeah, I love this seat. It's so, so soft. And they're still active in making seats on social media. So uh, if you need something like this, this is like one of the thickest, most cushiony, nicest well-made ones like these types of seats for kayaks that you can find so they're called butthurt seats um you can find them on instagram just let them know yak tribe showed them because uh, i haven't shown them any love in like a very long time so grateful for this thing it saved my lower back and my butt so that's that now just waiting for scott <laughs> here he comes <laughs> there it is <laughs> what's up bro Peace. It's only been like a year or more. Good to, good see, to see you, bro. A lot longer than a year. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. And what is this? Oh yeah, it's the new ride, man. Looks good, man. Ride. Oh man, yeah. This is like what me and my son fish on. You seen that green one I have? Yeah. Except they retrofitted like the pedal drive and everything on it. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's um, they're 
18 and a half feet. Yep. But I've been uh, pretty happy with it so far. Thanks. It's a lot cheaper than the uh, PA. Oh, <laughs> I feel that, man. I feel that. One of the big reasons. A bunch of different reasons. That's definitely one of them. You normally fish Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, I actually ran a trip last Thanksgiving. <laughs> nice. Do you keep this one on? Uh, yeah, you okay. can. Okay. Yeah, we'll just kind of get everything somewhat sustained, and then I'll just, uh, I'll back down. Well, you're going to have to teach me how to use a kayak again, so. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's been a while. How's Fisher doing? He's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I don't know what caused the gist of that. He just stayed up all night screaming. Yeah. Sometimes they do that. Yeah. Are we catching our own crabs today or what are we doing? All right, so I got like two dozen crabs. Sweet. That's, uh, we got that and I got some shrimp. And you got the uh, thing in case we got a, what? That's just a scrape, like scrape the pilots. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I don't know if that's something you guys do. Oh yeah, we usually, I usually bring a, um, a double-sided axe, like one with a hammer and then one with like a one with the actual blade, and we just like yeah, we pretty much do the same thing as you, just scrape them, chum them up. Yep. Bro, whenever we hang out, you bring back like the old memories. Oh, dude, the sunset. Like the box? sunset, yeah. bro. This I is like this is like the good yeah, stuff. Was, this is I like 2015. Yeah, that's like since like the yeah. first tournament. You got it. Yep. Oh, this one's as heavy as mine. That's my new canoe. Yeah, I think it was like 89 pounds. Yep. It's lighter than the PA, but it's kind of awkward here. Yeah. Scott calls this my bulletproof vest. <laughs> Traffic director's vest. Okay. Got split up the crabs. I'm saying like I brought mine. This is like what I normally use in St. Pete. Is like they go for like this size. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of people around here use that size too. I, um, I don't know. I'm different about mine. Wait, what don't you have? Uh, you need a paddle? No, I, I just said I forgot one. I don't really need it. I just realized I forgot it. Ooh, that water's oh, bro, I forget what it's like to be in like a. <laughs> not a PA. Not a PA. Back at it, just like old times, except Scott's in a different kayak. Although, still shooting the finger gun. <laughs> Although, he still has the. Uh, look at that. The uh, American flag yak tribe decal. Which. Hopefully we'll be getting those back on the website as soon as we open back up. I'm thinking a few more months, give it a few more months, and uh, I've got some things on order and things like that. So I thought we'd get back into it slowly and of course get back with Scott, which is the first Yak Tribe real, really real stop that we made on the road. And so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a restart kind of thing. Sweet. Well, you can hold on to it. I don't mind. Well, you can get it. You can get it and get set up. And All right. I'll come behind you. What a way to spend Thanksgiving morning fishing. Now let's get these little little crabbies. Oh, they got pinchers. All right, let's go. There we go. All right. Woo. 
<laughs> yeah, man, I was changing my GoPro battery and he just picked it up. Ah. All right. Dang, I was about five seconds too late because I was about to just ram the back of you. Were you? Yeah. All right, there we go. He's got a giant right here. <laughs> it's a monster. It's an absolute monster. It's <sighs> a good start. At least it's a no skunk yet. Yep. So, no skunk for the win. Got one. All right. Just... Yeah. Tell your mom to get up here. There you go. Did you see my crab farm? Did you ever see that? Yeah. That's like right, that's like a block from my house. Yeah, that's pretty convenient. And I put like these flower pots. I don't know if you saw that, but. Yeah, where you buried them. Yeah, I buried them. And literally we'll go back like every like, like I, I won't look at it for like a week. And then I come back and they're all just like, blah, 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 like waiting for me. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you're lucky down there. The problem we get up here and it's why I can't find my own this time of year. Mm -hmm. Is once it gets like once we have our first cold front, yeah, they bury. And oh, they don't okay. Come back up really? Until like, like the spring. No, these guys like stay. Move. Although we don't get as cold as you. Yeah, exactly. And that's uh, so I have to like rely on the fade shops, and usually I have. Well, where are they getting them from? They order them from a place down near you. Oh. This is the type of fishing I grew up doing with my dad. Like what. We had a yellow tandem kayak and we would go down to the bridge and do that, scrape it. That's how I learned about doing that. And then we would catch like one or two and then go eat them. And that's what got me into liking to fish, really, kayak fish. And, or just fish in general. So I do that with Rylan and now this year Landon because he's old enough and willing to stay on a boat, you know? Yeah. And so it's just like easy, fun fishing for him. It's not, it's not so pressure, so pressured. Yeah, it's uh, always the poor to this time of the year. So duck hunting, um, is there like, dude, I don't even know. My whole like theme of the video is gonna be like, I don't know what I'm doing. So. All right, well we got two options as far as where we can go tomorrow, what you wanna do. And I guess it probably just winds down to how much time you have. My day is open tomorrow. So we can either go to the upper delta, which is like an hour and a half from here. Mm -hmm. um, if we went up there, it wouldn't be like a traditional duck hunt. That was what I was talking about, where we just like be pedaling around. That sounds really fun. And just, just shooting stuff yeah, in the water. Yeah, that sounds like a video game. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other one would be us like fishing like a mile, or not fishing, but hunting like a mile down the canal from here. And we'd have an island we'd set up on. Mm -hmm. We'd bring like breakfast stuff and yeah. all of that. But it wouldn't, the kayaks would be just kind of like a mode of transportation. We wouldn't right. be actually hunting out of them. Yeah. I mean, what do you, I'm just down. Okay. So like, I'm trying to get this to be like my gateway into hunting. So I've always wanted to like get into hunting. Right now, the goal that Shannon and I have is just getting like, um, like 10 acres in Florida. Yeah. And because we can find like 10 acres that have like turkey and deer and pigs on it for like less than $20,000. What? Yeah, like 20, 25 grand. Some, I just passed one up that was 12 grand for 13 acres and they had all the trail cams and they had all like, it's in a place that my buddy hunts. Wow. And I was just like, ah, oh, I really got to get through like, we're doing like this renovation because our roof was like massively leaking. And this is to, to buy it. To buy it, to own it. Wow. And so, um, is... and of course there's other places that have like a little small house or this and that for like 80 grand or whatever the case is. So I didn't grow up hunting, but I always wanted to hunt. That is incredibly cheap. Yeah, so I'm just trying to put together a little place that like me and the boys can run away to yeah. for like two days and like have like a little camper there or like pitch a tent under, you know, build like a little covered area. That's what me and Karen are trying to do. You know, of course there's no septic, there's no electricity. So that's why like in in my area, Even you know. still though, like, we looked at, to give you an idea, we found five acres in Alberta. Same, same thing you're talking about. It's got deer and stuff on it. 
Uh, but there's no power, no sewage. Mm -hmm. And it was like 125 pounds. What? And we were like, oh, that's a pretty decent deal. But we were also looking at like northern Florida, southern Georgia. Yeah. And so it's still only like a four and a half hour drive for me. And uh, yeah, man. So we're trying to do that. So my point is, is like, I'm trying to take like a few like, you know, Florida, how to hunt. Like they do the um, game warden classes where he'll be like, all right, here's like the basics. Don't do this. You can shoot this, you know, type thing. And then, um, yeah, man, just like get my kids into it. Cause I, no one ever really taught me how to do that type of stuff. We'll probably just go do the jump shooting. Cause that would be outside of the further drive. That would be a lot easier for us. Okay. Because all we have to bring is, you know, the kayaks and the shotguns. Yeah. Um, so where's that one at? That one's like, you said hour and a half away? It's north of Bayman. Okay. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> do you want me to like pick you up or meet you or something that way Shannon can have the car because there's a good chance we might not be back till like noon or one o'clock you know well I didn't want to have to ask that of you but I also no, you I know kind of assumed that cause okay I, yeah I, I mean four kids I'm sure they would probably like to have a car yeah I mean if you're cool with that um yeah let's do it we did it we did it got that solid sheepy bang <laughs> well today was a fun day caught that sheep and of course you can't expect too much this wasn't a serious this was like a 30 minute trip you know so this was just get out catch up hang out on the water kind of chat it up and just hang with old friends so it was a good day caught a sheep um honestly it really wasn't about the fishing today now that sounds like an excuse but it really wasn't it was catching up just waking up early in the morning if we caught some fish that was awesome and so, yeah, got a little one, threw him back, but tomorrow we get to go hang out and um, do some duck hunting. And of course, many of you guys have already DM Scott and said he has his hands full. And uh, I would agree with that. I'm pretty sure his hands are gonna be pretty full with uh, my questions and whatever. So <laughs> I'll do my best to uh, just be a student. And that's what I love about Yak Tribe anyway, you know? hang out, learn new things, and that's gonna be a fun one. That will be a fun one. So, thanks guys for watching this video. We're out, thanks Scott for the trip, bro. It's been fun, finger gun man. <laughs> See you guys.